We are Ben and MP and we've been bringing a Doom wooden spooner back to life. Last week we removed what we believed was the last rotten piece left on the boat, our pilot house windows. But the weather was not on our side and that's why now we are tackling our interior. Want to see our boat becoming a home? Subscribe and stay tuned. So the next day all this epoxy has dried, it looks like a complete mess. Unfortunately we couldn't finish the windows before the rain started it's actually really 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 bad weather right now but uh it's gonna get worse tonight we're expecting a what's it called here a cyclone 100 km per hour winds and above so everything's gonna be strapped down but for now we're gonna go back into the boat and we're gonna start working on the flooring so as you might have remembered the little purple heart buttons have been made to go around the furniture and now we're just cutting them all into place testing them, seeing if they all fit in the right places. We might even put a door frame in to make sure we can see the furniture finishes in the right place. But for now, we're just gonna cut them all with a circular saw and then see what we can do with that, write down which ones are which so we can then fasten them into place later. Next week, a mitre saw should be arriving, which means a big phase of our furniture is going to start. It's a very, very necessary tool. But for now, we're just going to be cutting it with a circular saw and clamping it into place. salon, saloon and the galley ready. Now the other rooms are the small rooms. So we've got cabin one, head, head and cabin. And I'll see if I can show you. It's all very small little pieces. So we're not actually gonna do it in the rooms. We're just gonna do it over here, mark it, write it down. And then later when we need to install, we're gonna install it. on the interior and nothing more fair than talk about the interior so this over here is the previous layout of the ABBA and this doesn't exist anymore we changed it completely for this We go over all the changes in detail in another episode, so I'm not going to do that again. If you still haven't seen it, I'm going to put it up here somewhere. Then you can watch it because we explain the changes we made and why we opted for doing those changes. But what happened? When we posted this episode talking about this new layout, you guys went crazy with ideas and suggestions that we are so thankful about. Like, thank you so much guys for giving your ideas because the boat was not ready yet so it's nice to see how things can improve. And after hearing some ideas, this layout 
is also gone. <laughs> we have a new layout now, and that's what we're gonna talk about. This over here is our new layout. It's not that much changed. We got many suggestions about the bow that we divided the big bedroom into, but that's something we're keeping because for us it's more important to prioritize common areas than our individual space speaking of that i just want to say that we don't believe that there's such a thing as right and wrong design for interior it's just what works best for you or for other people so we're really thinking that this is the layout that will work best for us and our priorities that being said we didn't change this but we did change something about this and I'm so thankful you guys gave that insight for us which was making emergency hatches. So the last window on each bedroom can go out completely. We can push it out and escape in case of any emergency. I really hope we never use that but if we need it, it's there. Because of course as the galley is here near the exit if there was a fire, our, our only way out will be through it, and that's dangerous, so that's why now we can escape through the bedrooms. But speaking of galley, that's probably the main change of the whole interior layout since the last time we spoke, because it changed shape completely. You guys commented before that our stove was in the wrong position for the gimbal to work properly, and we took that into consideration. Another thing you guys mentioned was that our sink was too far from the center line and that can cause too many splashes. So now we changed that as well. And another thing that you guys mentioned is that our open plan galley was a bit dangerous. So when we are moving, if we wanna cook, they'll be flying from one side to the other. So this is now the new shape of our galley that you can walk inside and be safe in there but of course this is just a 2d that's not giving much information so for the first time in this channel we're going to show what we are aiming for in their tier so we're going to show the 3d project of how everything will look like the furniture the bedrooms and everything here are some pictures we took and had uh, developed <laughs> it's so funny because 3d now nowadays they look so real that sometimes I actually believe my boat's ready but then I wake up and I still have to work on it <laughs> so this over here is how we want our galley to look now you can see that you can go inside and feel safer when you're cooking also something that you can see that we just decided is that we're going electric with the stove and the oven because there are many advantages for that one of them is that we can be 100% uh, autonomous, do you say that in English? That we can depend only on our creation of energy through sun or whatever it is, but we cannot create gas. I mean, Ben can, but we cannot cook with it. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> anyway, our friends traveling in Brazil, just from going from one state to the other, had trouble with the gas bottles because the entrance for filling them up was different. So imagine traveling the world with that. We thought that would be a problem. So we decided to go electric and that's how you can see our induction stove right here inside this little L, J shape, whatever it is we're gonna have in our galley that I really like. And the gimbal? And the gimbal now is in the right position because here the stove is here. And before it was wrong, anyway. This over here is something they're still working on, so don't, don't take this as a promise. I absolutely love when we have this wooden inlay, but I don't know if they'll work for us, so we just. This is what we are aiming for, is our goal, is what we like. Of course, what we can do from this to reality will change because it will. And also some things that we're just putting here at the goal and we can see if it's possible later on. But this is our U-shaped sofa around the table downstairs. Another thing yeah. that is like a dream that we don't know if we can make, so it's not a promise, it's just our goal, is to have this very nice 
fridge that is drawers because we think that's easier to get things from than a top load that was a lot of your suggestions as well from the previous layout that top loads are annoying we agree so we really want to have a drawer fridge we can see if we can make it ourselves so it's not promise it's just something we really want and we'll see if we can do here our sink a lot closer to the center line for avoiding splashing just like you guys said that we should do we did and again you can see the mesh so the cover here thing is we're gonna sort the food so it's not like all shut and prone to moldy it's just fresh the bed this will change though so I don't think it's fair showing it's just some ideas of how the 3d will look say that we are going for something classic with nice details but not too many but not too little using mesh a lot but what I wanted to say the most was that we changed some ideas of the layout thanks to you guys and your suggestions so thank you so much for participating in this review and that we are very excited about how things got we are very happy with this new layout and we cannot wait to start building it so should I stop talking and start building yeah let's do it then Most of the doors were very briefly in place. One's actually just been removed down there, which was here. Uh, we're still missing the one to the starboard head, which is here. But cabin number one, cabin number two, and head over there are all installed. What's the problem now? Um, here's a good example. You can see that one of them is higher than the other because a piece of wood is missing but that's going to be made now so they're all at the same height over here you can see that this one is higher than this one so that will also solve that problem the next problem is we have one more door which is going to go yeah yeah which is going to go here but that one is kind of in pieces because I don't know if you remember in one in the episode that it got removed all the doors that we realized they were all nailed and glued and fastened together in ways that we couldn't save also they were actually nailed in through the roof from up down so from the inside we couldn't remove it uh, but yeah this is all going to be fixed right now we're going to do our best to keep the colors all the same as they were so they're all uniform doors and then we've got to see what we're going to do well door frames because we're going to see what we do with the doors later yeah where do you want to go
Sim. Mais, mais um pouquinho. Aí, oh. é demais, é demais. Aí. E não. Vamos ver não agora. a door in here or not even if we're not putting a door in here right now the frame is made to fit a door in the future so we don't know aesthetically what to give but if necessary we can put one in so don't worry about that okay now there's a lot of work going on in here we're working on where some flooring is going to be where the furniture is going to start where we need to get some measurements to put the plywood up on the walls and this little ladder here let me show you what happens when you stand on it has a little bit of flex. It's never, it was never made to last list this long. So we actually have a perfectly good stair, set of stairs, which was in the boat. We have it downstairs under the boat, getting a bit humid and wet. So we were thinking, why don't we just put it here, fasten it temporarily into place, just to be able to go up and down without having to use that. Because at some point, and I'm sure of this, someone will get injured and that someone is always me. So we're gonna see if we can just somehow fix this stair, these stairs into place and use it for what it's made for.
lots and lots of these floor supports have been put in place where they're needed so we've really really measured let's have a look here where for example the bench comes and the kitchen with a galley and all that stuff so around the furniture is going to be that little red piece of purple heart and that has to be supporting on something so that is all in place now all the pieces have been made now we're trying to make the most of having Nezo, Diego and Nico here which is why we are going to start already installing the plywood walls because it's very big and clumsy work and when that's done we can already start looking at other stuff like Orlando and Rafa might be able to start some wiring already or me whatever we can just continue doing lots and lots of stuff based on the walls so the walls will be in place very soon at least a lot of them all the ones we can place all the outlinings of the furniture will soon be in place and that's already going to give us a very big idea of what to do next and also because of this we can have people working inside and outside at the same time as we've opened up many different fronts i guess so you can continue working on the interior and continue working on outside until this is done it's not very easy for anyone to continue working on the inside so i'm very 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 excited to get our first wall in bulkhead in to get our first bulkhead in As you can see, our interior is really taking shape and I cannot express how much that makes my heart so happy to see walls and door frames and very soon furniture and more walls. So hang in there because this is becoming a home. So we'd like to send a massive thanks your way to Marcus, Mike, Mats, Vincent, Eric, Gordon, Brad, Arnold, Ken, Vince, Gilles, Michael, Tom, Vance, Alberto, Dieter, David, Dave, Michael and David for joining us on Patreon. Peter and John for supporting us through PayPal donations and thank you so much Herben, David, Joseph, Paul and Greg for the massive super thanks you've given us on YouTube. See you next week.